So I got these four cuttings from Crimp Florist. And I've got Adriatic JH, two of those, right here and here. I got a De La Senora and an I-258. I had read or watched a YouTube channel where these were highly recommended. So they came in the mail today. They're softwood cuttings. Are they're you know they, the the uh, crimp says that they cut them right before they mail them. And so I soaked them in a 10% bleach solution for 10 minutes and I reaffixed these labels that were on them to a little bit higher up so I could put rooting hormone on them. I wrapped the tips that were cut straight off with, I guess you call it paraffin, paraffin wax tape, grafting tape. And uh, the other three have a tip on them, a bud tip. And it looks like a, a side leaf was cut off uh, sometime before, but I wrapped the upper ones just in case. But three of them have the tip, and I didn't want to wrap those. Uh, so the next thing I did, I just got them a couple hours ago in the mail, and they came packaged sealed in plastic, uh, I guess to keep them moist. But they were cut just before they were shipped, so I didn't cut them any further, but I took... A box cutter knife and I made three lines down here so that hopefully will help with the uh, rooting hormone so this is dip and grow and I put the concentrate in the bottom and I filled it up to the 20 times which is supposed to be for hardwood cuttings so I've got uh, three gallon pots here that these are all going to go in and I'm going to put a bag on it again now these are food processing bags I use them for microgreens and I just cut the tip out of it so that I can put it over the edge of the pot here and what that's going to do is keep the moisture in so now I'm going to take this tent stake just to make a hole and I'm going to put it in here like this to make a little hole in the container grow this is cocoa uh, peat cocoa core uh, that I'm using for this particular one so I'm going to dip it in I'm telling you everything I'm doing putting in the dip and grow and this is the way I'm doing it they don't have to be done the way I do it but I'm going to just press it around and make sure it's settled around and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm not going to go all the way up I'm going to go around the bottom here just like this and I'm going to put a zip tie on it um, I don't know that you really want to see me fumble with this zip tie um, I may end up getting two well, I might be able to do it with one so all this is doing is that's keeping the soil mix in there the cocoa that I made sure was perfectly moist not saturated and definitely not um, dry and so I'm going to wrap this around and I know it, what it'll do because I just did the grape cuttings this will lock the moisture in I'll see beads of water all the way around it and I don't have to worry about this at all uh, I'll just look for the growing tips there should be two on this particular one um yeah here and potentially one there but it doesn't look like this one anyway hopefully that one will grow so i'm going to do it with the other three these are the five fig cuttings i see the very tip on some of these like here is um kind of a light green color it means it's not dying also this the cutting itself is got looks like some green in all the five of them so they're not dying yet, but they're not um, opening. Uh, the leaves aren't budding out. And, uh, so I don't know if roots are establishing yet. This is what the figs look like today. The cuttings, you can see this one's obviously growing. If you look closer over here, you got a bud coming out over here. And uh, this one right here, if you look down here, is, is also growing. So this is a 258, an Italian 258. 
I want that one to grow badly. I don't want it to die. It's a, it's one of my favorite uh, that I'm looking forward to. I've not tried fix at all. Here's another one. This one is, what is this? Black Madeira KK. This is also one I ordered a little bit later, a couple weeks later from a different company. And I also, this is one I really want to grow out as well. And it's not exactly showing signs, but it's got some green color to it still. So that's a, just an update on what the figs look like today. And um, hopefully they'll all start popping and growing uh, crazy. Three of the cuttings. This one, this one you can see two little leaves or a little branch growing on that one. And that one over there, which is doing real good. Well, three of them have started growing uh, from the buds. And while two, I'm still waiting on. It's been um, over four weeks now. This is the final method I'm trying. And I saw a fig that I wanted. So um, I thought I would try a method I saw on YouTube. I'll put the guy's name here or YouTube channel here. And um, yeah, look, he made it look real easy. Uh, compared to the other cutting that I did. Um, so what I'm going to do here is uh, copy that guy's work. And all I did here is I took a Tupperware container here. I filled it full of sand. Now I put a big pot of boiling water to about right here. And I just uh, used that boiling water to sanitize the sand. I let it sit for a few hours and I drained it. And then I got my fig cutting in. And what I did to the fig cutting to prepare it um, was uh, I soaked it in 10 parts water for one part bleach mixed. So it's less than 10% bleach mixture. I soaked it for 10 minutes. Then I took it, took it out, rinsed it, and let it pretty much air dry, similar to the way it looks here. And then I took dip and grow hormone. And dip and grow hormone is, you, I got it off of Amazon. And I did it for, I put the mixture to hardwood cutting and I dipped it and that's why this part is wet here. And then I just set it on top. Now see it's still a little bit wet. So I'm going to put the top on just like this. And after uh, probably a little bit more to keep the moisture in. But um, yeah, like that with a little bit. So I want to keep the humidity up. But I also want the excess to uh, moisture to drain out of the sand. So when it gets to the point that I like it, I'll close it up completely. And we'll just wait and see what happens. The guy who did it um, on YouTube, it looked really, really easy. And I can tell you I've got uh, five cuttings that I did. Three of them have popped. And two of them, it's been almost five weeks now, and they still haven't popped. So... Uh, and what I mean by popped is started growing leaves. I don't know if the roots underneath are growing. The other three are growing leaves pretty good. I'll show you that. But um, yeah, like I said, two of them aren't. So I wanted this fig. I thought I'd give it a try. It's really easy. I already had the sand. Uh, I already had this Tupperware container here. Uh, it's been sitting in the back of the cabinet for a really long time, so I thought I would uh, use it. We have more modern stuff, and uh, we'll give it a try and see how it works for a comparison against the other two. These are the two that haven't uh, started growing yet here. I got this one about a week or so after the four here um, because I wanted a Black Madeira, but um, I think it was from a different company. But anyway... Um, what I did after I saw the um, video about the guy who put them, you know, completely covered with the sand, is I'm thinking he's a, he's bas basically buried the whole cutting in a high humid environment. And so what I did with these two to try to keep them, um, give them more of a chance to start sprouting, if you will, sprouting leaves to buds to start growing is I enclosed them here and I had this down here as you've seen in this video earlier where they were lower down here uh, but since I put them in here like this the greening is a lot more but it's also extremely wet so I don't know if this is going to help or not 
Um, if the sand method does work, then I don't see how this can hurt. But anyway, I'm checking on this every single day. I've got this uh, t grafting clip just to hold it above, um, just to keep it secure, to keep the moisture in. So, well, hopefully that'll work. I had two cuttings, this one and Black Madeira KK, which is a little older than this one. And the others have broke through a couple, three weeks back, but this one just is not going, and the other one either. So I decided to take them out of the pots here. Now, um, and the reason is because, well, let me open this one and show you. If I look down here closely, I can see roots starting to form on this uh, Dan's BB. And this is the one that I took out of this pot here. So this one's not rooting and it's got some green still, but it's starting to die up here possibly. So what I'm hoping is that I can save this black Madeira by putting it in here and maybe it'll root better because this was weeks after this one. So I took this one out and I was planning on doing the same thing, but it had a lot of root. Well, not a lot, about a clump about that big around uh, the bottom of this uh, cutting. And so I decided to keep it potted in here. I repotted it and I'm going to sit it in the sunlight. So it should start pushing buds shortly. So that's it. I'm attempting to save the black Madeira by putting it in here with the Dan's BB through this rooting method. And this one's going down on the floor with all the other figs to hopefully pop some buds soon. I was able to get on to root but there's no top growth. I'm going to go ahead and pot this up because there's a good bit of roots here. I'm going to plant it below this, but I need some of the top to start sprouting. So I'm afraid if I keep it like this, it's, it's going to continue to root in the nodes and not put up any top growth. So I'm going to go ahead and pot it up. We're heading on a, our, well, I wouldn't say usual, but a popular spring vacation of ours here. Um, tomorrow we leave, actually. And so these figs are going to be put in that tote there and carried with us because we're going to be gone, if you include the travel time, about three weeks. And so I, I don't know of a way to... Um, I guess self water or auto water these and I think it's too cold still to plant the figs they're still quite immature behind the five pots behind are the tissue cultures and the front are cuttings and I got them from a couple different places there but it's obvious to see that the tissue culture is way ahead I mean way ahead even though that the cuttings themselves were taken about uh, no more than two weeks later. Yeah, so the tissue cultures were ahead. Camera went off. But um, uh, being that, that being said, there's not nearly as many varieties of tissue cultures as there are cuttings. The only one I had absolutely die was a cutting called Black Madeira. And this one here called Dan's BB is... It looked like it was dying back, but then I see a little bit of green there. So I had, um, you know, a very high percentage in both methods growing. So we're back from Port Aransas, and these figs need to be potted into larger containers. I did have, it looks like this one's died, but I'll check the root system out. So I um, ended up having two uh, that didn't make it. And one of them, I'm going to order one with, it's a rooted cutting a little bit later. He's holding it for me. Um, and that's Black Madeira. So I can't not have that one, <laughs> evidently. So that one's Dan's BB. Uh, I'll just go without that one. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take containers that I had uh, previous growing stuff in. And I'm going to reuse the mix, refresh it a little bit. I'm going to plant one of these in each one of them. Some of them have multiple 
um, I guess you call them um, branches uh, that I, I will trim back to two until they get big like this one is and then I'll do it to one single liter uh, for this first year I'm gonna do it like uh, what I saw online Japanese style I guess so I'll let the one single grow tall and then I'll cut it down and it'll branch out and I'll keep three maybe four branches going out and we'll do it that way sort of similar to um, peach tree pruning or apple tree pruning or you know some of those other types of fruit pruning here are the first three we got uh, Chicago Hardy on this pot here Black Mission in this one and Violet de Bordeaux in this one all the figs are planted up now and I even have my avocado out. It took some freeze damage while we were gone, but it looks like it's coming back. Uh, we were gone to Port Aransas, and we had two freezes. And, um, yeah, these are starting to look good, too. These are new leaves coming on since I put them in the pot here. So it, it appears like it's going to be a pretty good deal. Let's get shade. I may move them into sunny or partly sunny later on after they establish good growth. But that's it for the figs for now. I'll bring you back another time for another video. But uh, just wanted to wrap up this particular video. It's Brent. We'll see you later. me